We uploaded this video for two reasons. Number one. Those of you who are obsessed with this woman's hair, need to find a good therapist. It's just hair. We're in no way defending her antics, but we will say that we have seen no evidence that proves she has lied about her hair. That may be one of the few things she's been honest about. Practically every day, we see people arguing about her hair. Is it real? Is it a half wig? Does she wear clip-ins? We highly doubt her hair is fake. We wanted to address it because those of you who are arguing about her hair could spend that time helping these women with their investigation. Let's help her alleged victims get their money back. Who cares about her hair? What difference will it make if it does turn out to be fake? Who cares? We're convinced that some of you have hopped on this train, not because you want justice to be served, but because you're jealous of this alleged scammer, and instead of talking to a therapist or finding a better way to address your insecurities, you're interfering with a very serious matter. Please. Get yourselves together. Learn to love your hair texture. Stop obsessing over this woman's hair. And the second reason why we've uploaded this video is to address these people who are defending this alleged scammer, no matter how much evidence they're presented with. We realize that some of these men who are defending her have ulterior motives. One creepy guy not only said she reminded him of his daughter, we're paraphrasing, but he also said something along the lines of, she just needs an adult to take care of her. Sir. She is an adult. We would insert a Chris Hansen meme, but she actually is an adult, but the guy still sounded creepy. Even the Christians are coming for her. Check out our playlist in the description area. We're trying to include as many videos about this as possible. If we stop addressing this issue, it will disappear. So we need to continue to upload videos until the issue is resolved. If we've missed a video, please list the channel name in the comments so we can find it. We think the people who are defending her are just hopeless people. Maybe she gives them hope. They get to live through her, and they're willing to look the other way as long as they get to live through her. They remind us of the people who follow these fake gurus. No matter how many times the fake gurus get arrested, and no matter how much evidence you show them, they still follow them. Because they give them hope. And it's really sad that some people are so lost. Newsflash. It is possible to both be inspired by someone and also hold them accountable for their actions. Anyway, let's take a look at comments from lost people who are defending and making excuses for her. Let us know what you think about the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. She doesn't steal and stop lying. MJ said she used her points to buy your ticket. I just did the same thing about we could go for someone. You really don't need a person's passport to book a flight for them using points. You change dates one week then ask for a refund the next. Planning a trip for people is very stressful. Especially 25. She was nice to give you anything back. People commenting have been watching her for so long, now they knew it. It's like they were praying for her downfall. We are so quick to destroy our own. But if it were some airline offering zero refund, I bet there wouldn't be a video. What business do you book a trip from and expect a 100% refund? I don't really consider that stealing. You caused her an inconvenience. MJ's biggest mistake here was not having a clear refund policy and proper description of the processes surrounding the trips. And she shouldn't have told you that she was going to repay you, but you're both in the wrong. You don't just get back all your money. LOL. What world do you think we live in? You try to expose her, but you really just exposed yourself. Your story doesn't prove she's a thief. And she was being frank, not nasty. If this was an official travel agency, you wouldn't have gotten back your full money either. It probably was someone pretending to be her. I'm wondering if you all getting scammed are even in contact with MJ. I've never seen or heard of her hosting trips. I've been following her for two years. Also, red flag is, never book through an individual. Always book through a company with a return policy and on a card that has insurance. Good luck you all. People spoof accounts all the time. We love you MJ. MJ is not a scammer, she didn't need your money or anyone else's. But this business transaction was not handled properly by either side. Well, you should have just went on the trip. SMH. Why do you all book trips with her and then change your mind? At least you got some of your money back because I wouldn't have given a refund at all. She didn't steal, you sent it to her. Scamming is not the right word to describe your situation. If anything, she wasn't compassionate. If you are someone that travels, you should already know that you can't get full refunds in the travel industry. In her defense, 
Most of these complaints are from people who change their mind about going on a trip. If you book through any reputable vendor, it would be common for them to hold some of the money back for inconvenience, as they may incur extra charges from changing plans. You probably got scammed by someone pretending to be her. Well, if you book a trip, there is usually some non-refundable part of deposit. Just saying. You definitely got your money back, and from reading your messages, you moved your dates then decided to cancel on top of that. If I was her, I would keep $500 for cancelling. Is it stealing? No. Was it right? No. But it was business. Like every one of us, this young lady is a human. People need to think about how they want their lives to go. How do you know people haven't stole Mary Jane's info to scam you people? Did anyone talk with her face to face? Why do we do this? Why do we throw people away because someone told you something? The people who are having this travel issue are the ones that were a part of the trips. Could there be another side? Did we ask why? What's her side of the story? I did not watch the entire video, but just to play devil's advocate, once you book a trip it's almost impossible to get a full refund once you book no matter who you book with unless you buy insurance. That includes booking with big companies like Expedia, Travelocity, Kayak, etc. I wonder if she had a refund slash change policy when advertising the trip. I would hope so. I truly appreciate your video, because no one is giving the girl a chance to tell her side of this drama. It's so upsetting to me. Thank you for this video. I love this video, it saddens me to see people making videos calling her a scammer cause I truly do not get that energy from her. I hope she comes out and clears up what's going on. I agree with you on everything. I feel she got in over her head, it was not as easy to arrange these trips as she thought. I do not feel she is a scammer. I am 55 and she inspired me to want to travel and get out of my box.